Well, good evening, gentlemen, and here we go again. Now, this is an oversized femon. That's the word we have to use now, of course, because, as you know, you can't criticize a femon. That way, a femon can do whatever she likes without any fear of any criticism. Now, this femon is no beast yet, but she could easily be just in a short while. She's only 24 years of age, and when people get older, they get bigger, usually, not smaller. But of course she's got a site where she puts her pictures on and she just says, just a girl. Well yes, a rather big girl. But I did a video a little while back. How many people have died already being obese and overweight? And they were all influencers, weren't they? And nobody was allowed to shame them in any way. And of course, now they're dead. But apparently her followers said she looks like a goddess. That isn't the words I would use myself. Of course, at the moment, her skin is young and it looks not bad. But as she gets older and her skin gets saggy, it looks pretty bad. It'll be hanging all over the place. I mean, the face isn't too bad. It's quite pleasant. But she should actually lay off the burritos. She also says there's companies trying to get in touch with her to use her in some ads for oversized femons. So really what she's promoting is being this size is a win-win situation. And she's a goddess. But the media is always pushing that this is just okay. This is more than okay. You know, I wish I could have a doctor sitting right here and just talk to you guys about what this is doing to her body. Because it's funny, the people that criticize this femon for being overweight are the ones that are actually trying to help them, who actually really care. The media just wants to use them and discard them. Apparently she's a size 18 femon. Whatever the hell that is. It sounds big. Well, I'll put a link to the news item down below. I should be opening a Peroni very soon tonight, as it's a special night, isn't it? It's only once a year. Take it easy, fellas.